This is a car light source. Can I see? Here we go. Can I see it? Right here, Mr. Hughes. There's a little patient there. Unzip it. And there they are. These two new brake light bulbs from my Mazda 5. <clears throat> we'll actually give these a try and uh, see how they work. Okay, we're going to start by removing the two screws here and here. You do have to pull kind of a little harder from the upper part up here because this is a pop out top. But then it just pops out like this and now it's just sitting here hanging. So all we're going to do is unscrew one of the bulbs here and replace it. Okay, the one that's on the, the top one I think is a turn signal or something, or some kind of light. The, bo the bottom one is the one I'm going to replace today, so it's just twist to the left and pull out. Twist to the left, and wiggle it out. I need two hands. Oh, there we go. Got some wires in the way, and there's the bulb. Like all good headlight changing videos, do not touch the bulb with your hands. Use some gloves. And I'm going to replace it with the LED bulb. It simply pulls out. Here is the corn bulb I ordered off AliExpress. It is a perfect fit. I don't have enough hands to do this in the video, but you simply push it in there. I don't think orientation matters. I don't see any difference between it. So I'm just going to push it in and then give it a test. Now one problem I had, because the corn bulb is longer than the old bulb, I had to pull these wires out of the little clip here. <clears throat> All you have to do is do that and then slip it in and then you can put the wires back in the clip after when you're done. It's just one extra step because the bulb is longer. I did have to flip the bulb upside down actually. The orientation apparently does matter. But there we go. It works. Okay. Go ahead. Hit the brakes. On the left is the new LED. On the right is the old bulb that came with the car. Um, just eyeballing them, I would say the LED is slightly brighter. Not significantly though, but just slightly. The main point here is it's not going to burn out and you won't get pulled over. Thank you, Mr. Hugo.